Hello everyone, today I am going to create a setting of project browser for the Revit phases so that it is easy for you to create any sort of changes within a specified phase without any confusion. But before we start, let me remind you to like and share my videos, leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel. And also if you have any kind of difficulty or query related to Revit, you can ask me anytime. Now this is where I have left in the previous video. This is basically the existing phase and I have created two other phases which is the demolition phase and the new construction phase. And But you have to change uh, the uh, phase of each and every view because they are not dependent on each other. So it is easy that you organize your project, uh, project browser according to the phases. So for that, go to this views all click on it and from here you can see different types of templates for the project browser select phase from here and you automatically get the all of those phases which you have created in here which are the existing demolition and new construction for now now open this existing phase In here you can see only level 1 floor plan because only that level is in the existing phase whereas the level 2 is in the demolition phase. So duplicate this level 1 floor plan, rename it for example I am going to name it level 1 demolition then go to its properties box and select demolition from here so it will automatically move towards the demolition uh, scheme name this uh, floor plan as the level one existing so that you do not get confused between the existing and the demolition floor plan create an other duplicate view of this plan and rename it as level 1 new then change its phasing to new construction and it will move towards the new construction floor plan so repeat this process for all the elevation ceiling plan 3d views and everything so that you have a complete list of all those settings in all of those phases rename all of them now once you have done this you can see that the the south elevation the south existing elevation is in the existing phase the south new is in the new construction phase then level one existing is in the in that phase and you know you have a complete list of each and every phase in your project browser so you can easily uh, create a change develop a change uh, in any of those uh, plans or elevation or 3d you don't have to change the phase every time so that's all for today i hope you like this tutorial if you have any kind of difficulty or query related to revit you can ask me anytime and I will meet you guys in the next video. Till then, goodbye and take care. And most importantly, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.